So, there's been, you know, some debate, over, you know, over the last weeks about, you know, Xbox One versus PS4, you know, which one to buy, you know, well, you know, PS4 is pretty, pretty much definitively taken, had the lead, but I, you know, I sort of look at it from a different stance. I'd say that, you know, like, the, you know, the Xbox One... Did I say PS3? I meant PS4. But, like, the Xbox One, you know, caters to certain people better than the PS4 does. And I I really think that you should, you know, put some thought in when considering what console to buy. You know, um, you know, and, like, you know, like, there's no one-size-fits-all, you know. Like, one console's maybe better for you than the other. And, you know, so I'm making this video to, uh to maybe help help you decide, you know, which console is right for you. So now, the first thing that you think about that's important in a console is graphics. And, you know, when it comes to graphics, uh, I would definitely say that, uh, I wouldn't definitely say, but I'd say that NVIDIA has the best, they make the best cards. Uh, you know, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX series, they they're really good, you know. Ra Radeon, I I've I've messed around with Radeon cards, and you know they're better optimized for games. But Nvidia just has more sheer horsepower, and they also have you know more stuff like Nvidia PhysX and just you know those kind of cool features. Um, and also as far as you know, what card manufacturer you should go with. Uh, I do, I've I've just had good luck with EVGA or just good service, you know, they, you know, there's other card manufacturers, but EVGAs, they've done their job well, and they've, they've had pretty good customer service on top of that, um, uh, when deciding what card you get, um, I personally have the GeForce GTX 440, and, you know, it can run almost any, every game at high settings at 60 frames a second but you know if you're looking to future proof I'd I'd even go I'd look into getting maybe higher like I have presented here to the 550 or even the 660 or you could get a lower end card if you don't have the money right now and then uh, you know later down the line you can SLI it and just buy a second one SLI that and get two and to SLI that, uh, on the next topic of what you should choose, which is main boards. Now, uh, Biostar seems to have the most reliable main boards. Um, uh, you know, I'd shop around for it between Amazon and Newegg, because, um, you know, different, what people are looking for is different, but, uh, you're definitely gonna... Uh, don't, like, don't buy something too expensive, because usually when you pay money for a main board, it goes towards, uh, onboard graphics, and, you know, that doesn't mean anything if you have a graphics card. But you're definitely gonna make, want to make sure it has two PCIe 16-pin six, slots for, um, you know, a graphics card, and then an SLI, a second graphics card. Um, I would also recommend getting one that supports, uh, AMD, um, processors, just because, you know, Intel, they advertise that they go faster, and, you know, technically they do, but AMD is more reliable, and, you know, like, they're more, they're more reliable, they're better optimized, they're more efficient, they're, you get a better value, really, so, uh, definitely something to think about, um, uh, you know, um, as far as a case goes to actually put the thing in, it doesn't really matter what you get. It's all the same. Um, just make sure, uh, I wouldn't spend more than a hundred bucks on a case. Uh, you're either going to want, uh, just, a, like a regular ATX case or the full tower ATX case. Um, and, you know, uh, it, like, it doesn't need to have, like, a water coolant system in it. Uh, unless, you know, you have, like, you know, two of the highest end graphics cards in the market and you're that concerned. But for the most part, air cooling is just fine. Uh, as far as RAM goes, um, 
you know, just, I'd recommend if you don't have the money, just get a single 4 gig card. They cost about 30 bucks. Uh, Corsair. Um, you know, they make good products. Uh, you know, so, and then, you know, down the line, you can get a second 4 gig RAM card and 8 gigs RAM. 4 gig, for the most part, is all you're going to need, but, you know, you're if you're going to want to future-proof it with Watch Dogs and all those games coming out, then... I'd I'd go with uh you know, you can get eight. Uh last of all, um power supplies. Um usually when you buy a power supply, you have about a fifty percent chance of it working just because I don't know. They just they just break a lot really. There there's just a lot of well not breaking ones, but um I like I, the word lemon comes to mind for about half of them, but for that reason, most power supply companies have really good customer support, and because they know that most of them don't work, but if they work, so, anyways, uh, I've had the best luck, though, with, uh, Corsair power supplies, the Corsair CX series, pretty good, um, uh, 400 watts is, you know, I'd get one of those if you just want, like, a decent thing. But if you want, like, a future-proof thing that can, you know, run Watch Dogs at the highest settings, then uh, go towards 600 or even 750 watts. They only cost, as you can see here, uh, 80 bucks. Um, so, because you definitely need to keep it powered. Um, but, yeah, so I hope this video was very informative as to... Uh, you know, what next-gen console, you know, PS3 or Xbox 360, or PS4 or Xbox One, which one will you choose?